Till be time And uh, this time it's a uh, uh, we're talking about a new format that's coming up. The Modern Masters uh, 2017. Yeah, yeah. Or three. three. <laughs> uh, yeah, so in paper they're coming pretty soon. We have pre-ordered one box each. Yes. And we will hopefully draft at least once with our friends. Mm-hmm. It's coming to Magic Online a few days after. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it, it, I the, mean, the, this... the other Modern Masters have, have been good draft formats. And obviously it's also good if you like modern that you can get Some all cards. the expensive cards that have not been printed in a long time. Mm-hmm. Uh, like uh, Fetches, Tarmogoyf, Snapcaster, yeah, for just this to mention one. some of them. Yep. And now they really opened the vaults. Mm-hmm. I guess there's always some cards that weren't there like Karn and uh, other... That, that yeah, has gone up, cards, in, sure. got up more in price since they didn't show up here. Engineered Explosives. Mm-hmm. A lot of other cards yeah. too. Yeah. But the the good part is that <coughs> the fetches and the Tarmogoyf might go down a bit in price. Yeah, fetches they were really, really rare now. I yeah, mean, that's and they great. were really yeah, they were rare. Yeah, I know, but they're I mean, they're a rare is easier to find. Than a yeah, myth. you should get some per box. Yeah. And yeah, so this time we're we're going to we're not going to do the full set review since. Not everyone will even draft this format, no. and if they do, they might just do it once or twice. But still, uh, yeah. we're uh, thinking about talking about the archetypes. Yeah, I w- because the thing you want to know when you draft once is what kind of archetypes there are. Yeah, and then you don't really care about. You don't need to know all the cards, all the cards, all the commons, all the uncommons, and no. rank them and stuff because. It's better to just have a decent feel for it, find something that's open, and go with it. Mm-hmm. And the first color pair is white blue, mm-hmm. and uh, wizards call it blink, but I mean yeah. it's flicker, enter the battlefield, whatever you wanna pinpoint. Yes. And uh, there are some gold cards. Mm-hmm. We're looking. We're not looking at rares or mythics no, as usual. No. Only commons and uncommons. Commons and uncommons, and there are some gold cards that we're going to look at, and then also uh, for the specific colors. In this case, yeah. white and blue. Yeah, we're basically going. Uh, uh, gold cards uh, first and then the first color and then the second color exactly so in this case uh, we have a blue white instant called vanish into memory it says exile target creature doesn't have to be yours no you draw cards equal to the creature's power and at the beginning of your next upkeep so Mm -hmm. not end step no return that card to the battlefield um, and then you discard equal to its toughness yeah, so, so you can set it up in a different, all, all kinds of ways, I guess. Yeah, I mean, it can just act as a, sci- as a like, you, you draw three, discard three, Yeah, basically. And it could be a removal spell if you're about to die, yes. or if you want to attack four lethal. Mm-hmm. But it could also be that you have a, a good target that you can blink, so you can get the effect of drawing stuff, maybe uh, be able to deploy what you're drawing. Mm-hmm. Get the effect of getting the trigger back again, yeah. and then maybe just discard. And it's an whatever. instant, so I mean, it, it's a fine card. Yeah, it's and not, it's not great. Another card. Yeah, then we have the Mist Meadow Witch. So it's one uh, and blue or white. Yeah, the hybrid mana. Uh, for a one-one, and it says when you if you pay four or two blue white. You can exile target creature and return it to its own control at the beginning of the next end step. So end step is more similar to flicker wisp, I guess. Yes, yes. And this it's is not exactly, you have exactly to the same. T- tap it. You can, if you have eight mana, you can do it twice. Mm-hmm. So it's a good mana sink. Yeah. And and I with. guess it can in a in a late game board stall. You can like flicker two of your opponent's creatures and get him for lethal if you have yeah, to. Yeah, you can remove them from the blo- they don't so they don't block. No, exactly. And the last gold card is Deputy of Aquentials, maybe. Yeah, it's white. It's it's from the Ravnica block. And it's white and blue for a 2-2. Flash. Mm-hmm. I mean, a flash bear is fine. But when it enters the battlefield, you may return another target creature you control to its owner's hand. So you can either save stuff... Yeah, from a removal removal spell. Or just uh, end step, play this, return something that you want to play again. These cards are are rarely super, (laughs) but they're fine. I mean... Yeah, yeah, it's much better that it has flash than the limited one now that you have to uh, cast it. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, and because this can uh, be a counterspell. Yeah, it can be. And in uh, if we move on to the to the white cards, we have a card like Momentary Blink. Yeah, and it ha- it's two mana for an instant. You exile target creature you control, and then return it to the battlefield. Right now, right now, I mean, it happens. That's the the flicker effect. Yes, so you can get value from it first, but then you can pay three in a blue as a flashback. Cost. So it's basically like a split card. Yeah. Um, and it fits very well into this blue white blink deck, yeah, <laughs> of course. Yeah, it was the same when it was here last time. Yeah. And then we have another card that is already it's played in your deck, mm-hmm. uh, black white Eldrazi and Taxes. Yeah. So Flicker Wisp. It's both a good flyer. It's pretty cool to vial in. Yeah, it's very. You're not good going to vial stuff no, here, but no. uh, yeah, here it's just a flicker effect. Either again removing a blocker. Or maybe uh, killing tokens and or you, gaining value for or you. gaining value and just as an as a bonus, it's a three mana three one flying, which is already good. In limited, that's great. It's double white, but still yeah. uh, the the card is uh, solid. Mm-hmm. And if we move to blue, then we have uh, the Mist Raven. Mm-hmm. Uh, pretty cool card. It's like uh, a flying man war. Yeah, I mean it costs one more, but it's a f- four mana. For a 2-2 flying that bounces uh, a, creature. A, a creature. So it's it's mana war, but you pay one more blue, or one more mana, I guess, for uh, the flying effect. Yeah. Uh, and uh, that's worth it. And if you People can blink, call it the effect. best, probably the, probably the best mana war type effect. I yeah. heard people t- say. I mean, it's common as well. It's common. And, uh, and if you can also flicker this, it's, it's pretty good with awesome. momentary blink. Yes, <laughs> yes, it is. So and another blue card we also have is Seagate Oracle, ah, which yeah. is a three mana one three. But when it enters the battlefield, you can look at the top two cards, put one into your hand, and the other one on the bottom. Yeah, of your it's library. filtered card draw. It's a, and it's a blocker. Yeah, it's just a staple in different cubes. Mm-hmm. It's never bad. No, it's never bad. And if you can flicker this, it's obviously also good. And yeah, that was for the for the, the white blue deck. Yes, and we're moving on to the blue black. Uh, well, they call it the instant control. It, it, it's basically you can you, you want to leave mana up. Mm-hmm. So it's a classic control deck that can leave, I guess, both counter spells and maybe co- maybe other stuff and, and some removal spells. Yes, um, and we are going to start with the cold gold cards. And here we have a card that's called Agony Warp. So yeah. it's blue black instant. You can give a creature minus three minus O and minus O minus three. So it's either removal or by time. Yes. It's n- never offensive. No, no. <laughs> no, it's not. Uh, <laughs> Obviously. Uh, but it's it's fine. I mean it, it's cheap and it can kill uh, three toughness creatures. Yeah, it's, creature. it's uh, if you can kill stuff for two mana it's good. Yeah. And then we have a uh, soul manu- manipulation. A card you can leave up. I mean, it's 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 either remove soul or raise dead, but they put it in, in the same card, mm-hmm. and the combination of that is pretty strong. Yeah, it's always good to be able to choose one. I mean, it's even one or both. Yeah, it's you can, which, you can I, do both. which I like. So mm-hmm. so it's it's the casting cost for both of those, but but now instant, and you can choose both. Mm-hmm. So yeah, just to, maybe you have a few finishers. And maybe the one you have drawn has died. Pretty good to be able to counter something, get back your finishes, then try to close out the game. Yeah. And I guess that's it for for the black cards that has instant on it. Yes. But but, then... but we also have a Dinrova Horror, which is a six mana four four. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, you bounce something, a permanent, and then that player discard a card. So you can bounce. Whatever you want, basically. And it could be that they are they have no, nothing in hand, yeah. so it could even be removal. It's just a typical control card, and a 4-4 four, four can brawl mm-hmm. afterwards. And if this dies, you can take it back with so many You can raise it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's a fine control card. You're fine putting it in the deck. Yes. And if we move to blue, mm-hmm. um, first of all, I was just looking at Augur of Bolas, because it's a 2-mana 1-3, pretty good blocker. And you may look at the top three cards of your library and reveal an instant resource and put it into your hand. Mm-hmm. Hopefully you have a lot of them. 
Sadly, this is <laughs> a guy that's pretty known for missing. Yeah, it's basically... The, 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 the common joke is, look at three cards, put them on the bottom of your library. Yeah, yeah. Because in Limited, you usually don't have that many No, but I, we have a friend. He always played this card. Yeah. And uh, I feel like he hit a lot. <laughs> but maybe you need like eight spells or something to be able to... But yeah. you play Glintness Crane and stuff like that. Yeah, but that's yeah. It's I, a flyer. It's a flyer, and yeah, okay. It's if it's a deck for it, it's this deck. Yeah, I agree. And then we also have Mystical Teachings, which is a four mana instant card. You can search your library for an instant card uh, or a card with flash, I guess. But instant is yeah. obviously going to be the the relevant here. Uh, reveal it, put it into your hand, and then shuffle, and then you can do it again. Uh, for a flashback, so it's basically cost. black as well. Yes, if you count the flashback, yes. and if you if you bridge into Esper, mm-hmm. there are cards with flash yes, that you could get. Are. So it's not like it, that text no. is uh, dead. No, but but being able to flashback it makes it so this is not just one tutor. You can do it twice. Yeah. You can uh, even te- teachings for a teachings. You can, if you want to. If you trigger stuff and whatever. And uh, another instant that has black, uh, blue casting cost, but also black flashback, is Forbidden Alchemy. And you look at the top four cards, put one into your hand, and then the rest into your graveyard. So sometimes it's pretty good to fill up your graveyard. Mm-hmm. I don't know if there's uh, super relevant stuff that you want stuff in your... But you could have gotten Snapcast Mage. Yeah. Even though it's myth. <laughs> and there are some black unearth creatures. Yeah, you could yeah, you could mill, self-mill stuff that you can unearth. Yes. Or raise back. Yeah, and even just, oh, I milled my bomb. Mm-hmm. But I have the uncommon guy and so I can raise it back again. Yeah. Then you even get to it faster. Exactly. So I think this is perfectly fine in the... Yeah. Me too. Control Me too. Deck. And as you said, you can flashback it later so you can get more value from it. And we only... And chose one black card. Yeah, because there weren't... I mean, this is the only instant removal spell we found. That's a hardcore removal spell. And that's four mana instant destroy target non-artifact creature. Grizzly Spectacle. Yeah. Uh, Isn't they, there like path to exile and stuff? Yeah, there too, are. But not in blue-black. N- not in blue-black. And there's like a blue a black card that gives minus one, minus one. That's like the only other one. Oh, yeah. So, uh, not too many instant spells. No, but I guess you want to pick as many of these as you can in, in this type of deck. Yeah. Because then you can leave up counter spells and have this spectacle. And the mill part here isn't relevant. I, I don't think so either. And I also like going back to mystical teachings and forbidden alchemy. Mm-hmm. If you can have up removal or a counter spell and then they don't do anything, then you can just alchemy and step. Yes. So that's the instant part of the deck. Yep. That's it for blue black. Yes, it is. Moving on. So it's black, red, I guess, sacrifice and unearth. <laughs> yeah, because both black and uh, red has a lot of unearth creatures. Yeah, and obviously in, within each of these color pairs you can do other things sure, as well. Sure, sure. But we have a card that we have played with before, mm-hmm. Torrent of, of Souls. It's four and then a hybrid red or black. So five mana for a sorcery where you can uh, bring back a creature from your graveyard to the battlefield. Oh, and if black was spent... Uh, yeah, if black was spent, then you can raise dead. Yes. And if red was spent... As well. Uh, then you can give plus two plus O and, and haste to all of your creatures. So I guess you could... Our target creature. No, creatures target oh, player okay. controls. All the, so, all so if you have a lot of creatures out, it's just more value. It can be like an overrun yeah, or like a trumpet blast. Yeah, a trumpet blast, basically. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, but, but it's a it's a good card. Four or five mana spending red and black, you can raise it, give it haste, and also pump other stuff mm-hmm. at the same time. Yeah. So it's, it's it can be a blowout. And we also have a, a gold card, uh, Cathari Bomber. Yep. So uh, three mana, two, two flying. That's uh, not super. But when it deals uh, combat damage to a player, you create two one-one goblin creature tokens, and you and you sack it. And the, the yeah, so both it itself says sacrifice, mm-hmm. which could trigger stuff that we can look at later. Yes, it gives fodder for other sacrifice stuff, mm-hmm. and it can do and you can do it again. Yeah, with and, and you can even sacrifice himself. Yeah, again. Uh, yeah, so so it can be a lot of sacrifice. Going it can on. be. I mean. It's it's very good for for the and it's card. common. We uh, and I, I, these red black sacrifice themes that always show up in modern. Uh, they're Masters never good. The, no, but there has been places when they have been. 
Okay. So you, we just have to try. Yeah. They, yeah they, it try. could be good, but it's probably not. And if you look at first black card. Yeah. We have a card that I have home here with, and then it's rare, mm-hmm. and it's Mort- Mortician Beetle, black for a one-one, and it says whenever you sacrifice a creature, whenever a player sacrifices a creature, yeah, so, it so works even both if you ways. if your opponent does it, you put a plus one plus one counter on it, mm-hmm. and this was rare. Now it's common. Yeah, it's open up to pauper. Yep, I guess. Yep, uh, which a lot of cards actually are in in this Modern Masters set. And yeah, this this is good. I, I don't know how good it will be in pauper, no, <laughs> but but in this kind of archetype, it's actually very good. If you can have like four of these, I think that that this is why I think that they might have pushed this archetype yeah. so it can actually be playable. Yeah, and black red, even if you don't get the theme, you could just be like a control deck mm-hmm. because it has a lot of good removal. Yes, it has. And then we also have uh, a black card called Corpse Connoisseur. Yeah, uh, it's five mana three three, uh, which is just whatever. Yeah. But when it enters the battlefield, you can search your library for a creature card, put it in your graveyard. Uh, so you obviously search for an unearth creature card, if you have. If you have, uh, and then if it dies, you can pay four and unearth this creature. Do it again. So you can basically fuel your unearth creatures. If you really have, if the unearth deck is something. Yeah. This should do stuff in it. It should. <laughs> Basically that. And you can just play this, sacrifice it, play it again, sacrifice I don't know. You mean, I mean, you can you can do a lot of stuff with it. Yeah. And with Torrent of Souls, if you can get, like, one of your big bombs that you can't unearth, oh, yeah. you can use Torrent of Souls on it. And whatever. one more black card, uncommon, because it's always pretty... If this sacrifice engine is... To work, I guess, in archetypes like this, mm-hmm. fueling the beetle that we were looking at, you need cards like Vampire Aristocrat, mm-hmm. which is on common, so you will probably get it. Three mana, two, two, but whenever you want, you can sacrifice a creature to give it plus two, plus two until end of turn. Yeah. Basically, yeah, you, like the zombie from. You really need creatures like this. I mean, you need sack outlets. Yeah. And sack outlets doesn't say pay three mana and tap or whatever. No, no. You can just do it. Do it. Do it. <laughs> Do it. And we only have one red card. Well, uh, no, we... we, we I, I, ah, I put, you found I, one I put in the, another one, oh, which okay. I'm going to start with. That's the Mud Button Tort Runner. So, good name. Yeah, it's a good name. And it's don't a, joke it's a, <laughs> that way. <laughs> no, and it's it's a cool art as well. So it's a three mana one one. Uh, that's not great. But when it dies, you can you can bolt something. Either a creature <laughs> or a player. And, so, uh, and, and yeah. if you can get value from this as well... I mean, if you can get like a counter on your beetle and something else, I don't know. Uh, yeah, because if you don't get any value, then it's just a slow bolt. Three mana bolt. That you bolt. might not even get turned on. No. But, but if you have a beetle out and a sack outlet that when you sacrifice, it gives plus two, plus two. And at the same time, you shoot something and then attack for four. Mm-hmm. Then it might work. Then it might work. So that's why you, you found it. And I also had the, the Scourge Devil. You had it too. Mm-hmm. Um it's actually played in vintage and it is in modern it, in dredge yes yeah uh, so maybe it is modern dredge yeah. vintage has better stuff i think i don't know it maybe. might be there but it's a five mana three three which is yeah but it pumps your whole team when it enters the battlefield and you can unearth it so that's the thing mm-hmm. uh, and yeah you can I mean, just, it, it's pretty aggro. It gives all your creatures plus one plus zero, oh, so it gives itself one plus one plus zero oh when you unearth it. So even if you just trade for something, then you can do this next turn and attack with a four three yeah. again. So I mean, it's, it's pretty it's, aggressive. It's, it's aggressive, good if fine. you have your father not sacrificed yet, then you can just attack with the tokens. And mm-hmm. um, that's all for black, uh, black red. We're moving on to red green. <coughs> And uh, for the gold cards, we have an enchantment which costs two red green. It basically says you want to have a lot of creatures and you want them to attack. The good part <laughs> is that because attacking creature gets plus one plus zero, but also menace. Yeah, menace is great. So let's say even if you have eight one ones and they can block with their three two twos, mm-hmm. they still have to double block a one one, and uh, yes, so, so yes. that you don't care. No, you don't care. So I think this is pretty important. Yeah, it's p- pretty expensive, but if you can play turn two, turn three, turn and two, then drop this, yeah, turn three, whatever, whatever, and then t- drop this turn four, uh, that's a big deal. Or even just block, drop this on turn six. Yeah, yeah, yeah obviously. 
And we also have another uh, dual uh, card. Not, it's not a gold card, but it's, it's dual costed. Yeah. Uh, that's Burning Tree Emissary. One of my old favorites. Yeah. Also played in modern in some decks. Uh, so it's red, green, or red, green. <laughs> yeah, a combination of red and green for two mana. Yes. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, you add red, green to your mana pool. It's a 2 2. And it's a 2 2. This was uncommon back in uh, Gate Crash, mm-hmm. I think. It was in, in the Ravnica block at least. And i- if you got two of them, or three, I mean, if you got to chain this. Yeah, you want to chain Turn two, you, now it's common. If you have three in your deck, uh, if you can play two or three on turn two, they might not even recover. No, 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 no. I mean, and if you drop a Gruul War Enchant turn four with three Burning Tree Emissaries and a three drop on... And this on can board. also be, I mean, it can be Burning Three into Burning Three into whatever two drop. It doesn't yeah. have to be another Burning no, Tree. No, no, no. So that's the... No, but I think part. this is going to be good in this deck. It's also now in Popper. Yes, it is. Which is, uh, I think it will be good there. Uh, it, it, it might yeah, be. You can be going to Dragonfather. Burning you can tree, go Burning into Tree. Yeah. So that's a bridge into our next <laughs> card, basically. So for red, we have uh, first of all Dragon Father. Yeah, uh, fits well in the deck. I it mean, also goes in the sacrifice deck. Yeah, yeah, it does. But this deck is called Red Green Token Go Wide. <laughs> yeah, 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 but it works there too. It's fodder. It is. It is. And uh, when you're going wide, I mean, we have the War Chant, but you also have cards like Dyna Charge. Mm-hmm. You can either either pump one guy for one mana or for three mana. It's a Trumpet Blast. Yeah. Pump your whole team. Pump, pump your whole team plus two plus zero. Oh. So you're gonna need cards like this. That's what I want to tell you. Yeah. You need both the token makers, but also the payoff for having tokens. Yes. Because just one ones. No, might they, not do no it. they're not. They're not doing it. What is green doing? Green uh, has a card that I know looks pretty odd, but it's very good. Yeah. Uh, Fists of Ironwood. So it's two mana for an enchantment, uh, and it says enchanted creature gets trampled. It's an aura. But but when it enters the battlefield, you get two one one sapperlings tokens. Yeah, so it's dragon father with upside. I guess it's dragon father with downside also. Yeah, if they can remove your creature. No, if yeah yeah in yeah, response. All, all, yeah, that too. But you can't do this without a creature. No, you can't. No, you can't. But uh, but it's a good card. It, it is a good card. And green also has an anthem in fact. It's mm-hmm. actually Gaia's anthem. <laughs> uh, it's it's basically. The time spiraled version of the white uh, glorious end. Yes, this is just that card, but in green. Mm-hmm. It came, I guess, it was planar chaos yeah, because I think then so. they turn around the whole color pie. Yep, and yeah, the same card. Yeah, one green green creatures you control get plus one plus one. And again, you need cards like that. And uh, yeah, we have an honorable mention as well: yeah, a, p- a pump spell or a trick that's actually also very good if you have a lot of creatures. Strength in numbers, so it's two mana for an instant. Until end of turn, target creature gains trample and gets plus yeah, tra- x yeah, plus yeah. x, where x is the number of attacking creatures. It's a finisher. It's a finisher. I know for a fact that this card often was just you you win the game. Yeah, and it's two mana. Two mana is nothing. Oh, plus seven, plus seven, and trample. Yeah. Okay. Good luck, Shuck. Good luck, Shuck. So uh, that's the red green uh, token. Is it go one more? Deck. Yeah, it's one more uh, color pair. One more color pair. And uh, yeah, it's green white, and it's just green white populate. It's mm. another token theme deck. Populate was again from the Ravnica block. Yep. Or return the Ravnica block. Mm-hmm. Uh, basically, you want to have some way to get token making going. Yes. And then if you have any type of token out, the word populate makes it so that you can copy. A token that you own. Yes. So a good card in that deck when it was last time was Call of the Conclave because it's just two mana for a 3-3, which is already good. Mm -hmm. And it's also uh, better here that it's not just a 3-3 lion or whatever. No. That it actually is a token because then you can chain populate spells afterwards. Yeah. So you want as many of these as possible. Mm -hmm. And we also have a, a, a... Pretty good creature in this deck. On Uncommon. On Uncommon. Wayfaring Temple. So it says its power and toughness are equal to the number of creatures you control. Yeah, it's a star star. It's a star star. And if, you, if you're populating and having tokens, this should be bigger than a 1-1, one, one, I guess. Worst, worst case is a 1-1. One, one. Worst case is a 1-1. One, one. And when it deals combat damage to a player, 
you populate. So you can play this and put fists of the un- ironwood, like as we said before. Yeah. Create two saplings, get trample, and then populate. Yeah, that, 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 that will be a good combination. Yes. And and um, yeah. yeah, it's all for. Um, I no, guess we, we can mention Sundering Growth yeah, because yeah. it it has populated on it. It's two mana hybrid again mm-hmm. for destroy target artifact or enchantment, mm-hmm. naturalize effect, then populate. And why we think it's good in this deck or in this. Uh, yeah, because you don't always. Um, uh, you need a target. Yeah. But there are ways... I mean, there are a lot of artifacts. Yeah, and signets and stuff like there that. There are signets, a lot of good artifacts, and there are actually a lot of enchantments as well. Mm. So I, I wouldn't mind my, uh, main deck But this. I don't think you want to go like all of the Sundering Growth you see you main deck. No, no, no. But it's just because it's as popular. close to Kaladesh where you can main deck one. One, one, is, one is fine. Um, <clears throat> in white, we have another populate card that was pretty good... If you can set it up, first of all, you pop- populate. Mm-hmm. Be- that, that makes it so that you create the token first. After you have created the token, you gain uh, all your creatures gain indestructible. Yeah. So maybe your opponent attacks their 4-4s four into your 3-2-2s. Uh, two, two, you populate, then you double block two 4-4s four, and your bo- whole board survives. Yes, yes. And even if they have a trick, you don't get blown out. No, no. No, because you do it before you block, basically. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, and then we also have eyes in the skies, so it's four mana for an instant. You create a white, a one-one white bird creature token with flying, and then you populate. So you basically create two one-ones. For yeah, four mana. worst case is like a slow instant uh, make two one-one flyers. Yes, but it could be also a one-one flyer and a three-three. Yeah, if you had the if you have the cantar. And in green, uh, we have a card called slime molding. So it's uh, an X spell, so it's green X. Yeah. Uh, sorcery, create an XX green ooze creature token. Early, I mean, it's sorcery, so early, I mean, for three mana, you only get a 2-2. Two, two. Mm-hmm. Four mana, you're starting to get, like, on average, yeah. five mana, four, four can be pretty big. Yep. You probably want to cast it for five. You want to cast it for five and then populate. And then start populating. <laughs> That's yeah. what you want to do. Um, and we also have found another green card, a Baloth Cage Trap. Which is a 5 mana instant trap. Worst case, you play it for 5 and you create a 4-4 four, four beast token, which is fine. Mm-hmm. Uh, but if an opponent had an artifact entered the battlefield during his turn, yes. uh, you can pay 2 mana instead. Yeah, so, and as we said, in a world of signets, if you are on the play... Yeah, then this can be pretty broken. It can be turn 2-4-4. Four, four. Leave 2 mana up. Yeah. They, mean, play two, they play their signet. And you play a 4-4. Four, four. Yeah, and then you can populate <laughs> and destroy it. Ah, yeah, you want you want tap play. Oh my god, what if you are on the play? Two mana, leave it up. They play their second land. They play their signet. They're happy with their life. Yeah, you trap them playing a beast. Untap, sundering growth. Their signet make another four four. They're probably dead. That's probably game. That's going to happen. Yeah, it could happen. When it happens, tweet us. Yes, yes, do that. Um, okay, so that was actually it with the color pairs. And and I don't think that white, green... I mean, uh, I don't know. Blue, white looks pretty cool. I think blue, white looks the best. Blue, blue black, that's hard. Yeah. But it could work. Black, red is very uncertain, mm-hmm. I think. If the if it will be good or not. Mm-hmm. Red green I like because either you can go wide yeah. and have the token strategy, but but I I look at red green. They also have just yes, good soul big bound creatures, creatures and stuff like uh, that. Uh, with and th- th- there's a lot of blood rush. You can you can just play big guys and blood rush gore clan rampager and stuff mm-hmm. like that, and uh, have have uh, just play gruel monsters. Yes. So red green looks pretty good. Green white is harder because how good will populate be? Uh, this is a strong format with a lot of good cards. Do you have time to sit around populating one one flyers? No, I, I, it really needs to be open. I think. Yeah, I think so too. But the, but then what happens now? Now we're going to talk first of all that we we mentioned the signets. So there are all of the signets yep, in this format. Ten. But there's also all the guild gates so in the format. Ten different. Tap dual lands. Yes. And there's also the, the tricolored lands for uh, the, the old tri, not the cons tricolored lands. It's uh, the shards. It's the shards tricolored lands. From the Alara block. Yes. 
So you have like Arcane Sanctum, you have um, Savage Sa uh, Savage Lands, Crumbling Necropoli Necropolis. It's it's basically Yand, Grixis, Naya, uh, Band, Band, and, and uh, Esper. Esper. All of those. Uh, and there's there are all the guild gates as you said. Mm -hmm. If you're lucky, there are the fetch lands. Yeah. There are no dual lands to fetch. No. But the pro the since there are the signets as well, there is a lot of fixing. Yeah, you have a lot of fixing. Signi signets are uncommon. Uh, tri lands, lands are uncommon. And guild gates are common. Are common. Yeah. There will always be basically one of the other yeah. in every pack. So so you can play, for example, Esper Control. Uh, you can play Grixis. Yeah, they, they are calling, if you just look at the wizard's announcement, mm -hmm. they're saying, as you said, Esper Control, Grixis Graveyard, Yand Sacrifice, Naya Token Aggro, and Bant Splicers, which I, I guess it's it's like Bant ETB. Yeah. You, 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 you are maybe going from one of the color pairs but you're branching into Yeah, for example, ba shard. Bant Splicers, you can have white, blue, Blink deck, and then you can put uh, take uh, take some populate th stuff, and you uh, from green as well. Yeah. So you can go into band. So so you will probably, but you're probably still uh, solid in two colors and splashing the third, yeah. or maybe solid in two and splashing two others, depending probably. on. Probably. Probably. And uh, so so it's pretty open to what you do, and with you're probably going to be able to take. All the lands you see and play four or five color good stuff yes, as well. Yes, but I I don't. I mean, if you compare it to the Modern Masters uh, th 2016 or, uh, or 15, 15, I mean, yeah, 15. Uh, there the there were a lot of four colored stuff. You you had you had the uh, the Manta, the Flying Manta. You had Etched Oracle. Yeah, you had Sunburst. Sunburst. That's not in this set. So so it's not. It's not telling you go four colors. No, because you have no payoff for doing it except for getting good cards. No, no, uh, but but the payoff probably is just uh, all the good um, gold cards. Yeah, there are some good gold cards in Bant or in Jund. The, yeah, the, yeah, exactly. There are uh, rocks, war monk, tower gargoyle, and whatever all mm. these that that are actually costed with the shard colors. Yes, uh, and it's perfect to be able to splash one of those. Mm -hmm. Or just, uh, as you said, if you're already in blue, white, splash green, because it's, you're already doing that. Yeah. You get another splicer. You yeah, get, get a Rocks War Monk. Yeah. Splash it. Exactly. I mean, it, it's a good card. <laughs> okay, so... Yeah, the, the base is five color pairs, but there are like ten um, archetypes if you count the shards. Mm -hmm. And there's probably one more archetype if you count some sort of multicolor. Yeah. But... But still, the, the, the color pairs that aren't mentioned here, the enemy pairs, mm -hmm. the Boros, Orsov, Raktos, Raktos, all of those, you can still probably no, not draft Raktos. those. That's black red. <laughs> ah, yeah, no, 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 but, but uh, Boros, for example. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> there are some gold cards in that as well. Mm -hmm. So you could uh, Sky Knight, Legionnaire, Thundersong, Trumpeter. Maybe you can just be a Boros aggro deck. Yeah, you, I, I mean, um, you might be able to, but but as as wizards say it, they're, could, they're not supported enough. I guess. No, I, no, they're they're not like an official archetype. No, but you could probably draft a, an, another color pair yeah. as well. I, I my impression of the format is I think it's going to be a fun format <clears throat> to draft. It, it will it, it will be close to drafting a cube because it's so powerful. Yeah. All the bombs you can open, uh, I mean, there are really strong cards like Liliana, Sna Snapcast Image, <laughs> Grizzlebrand, I guess. Yeah, if you can Torrent of Souls a like Grizzlebrand, you're going to be happy Sweepers about it. Sweepers like Damnation, Value Cards, Scavenging Ooze. Yeah, there are good cards Terminate. in the pack. Ooh, Thrag Tusk. Yeah. You, you can actually Restoration Angel into your Thrag Tusk. And then populate. <laughs> and then populate. Oh my god. Yeah, there are sweet stuff to do. It, yeah, of course. Aggressive cards in Hellrider and whatever. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, yeah. Hopefully you um, you enjoy this and uh, you can it can help you when you if if and when you draft it. Because if you draft a lot on Magic Online, you should at least give it a try. Yeah, you should. In uh, paper, 
it's pretty expensive, so I mean we're not going to draft it a hundred times either. No. I'm glad if we get to draft it once or twice. I mean we have like two or three boxes. Yeah, the, yeah, but we also have to get everyone together. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's hard. It's not that easy. Okay, so uh, if you like our videos, leave a like, leave a like, and don't forget to subscribe. No, and uh, feel free to comment here if you have more insights about the format. I mean, mm -hmm. we're just touching it on a pretty high level here. Yeah, we are. And uh, we're glad for tips and tricks. Yes. And I guess we'll do a draft again soon. And uh, there's a giveaway coming up as well. Yeah. Stay tuned. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.